As an independent charity, the Health Foundation wants the big decisions about the future of the NHS to be based on the best available evidence, and that includes matters to the public. Fundamentally, it's the best model that you can possibly think of. There will be aspects or issues which are not working at this point of time and definitely needs improvement. But will I want to replace this with something else? I don't think so. I think what we need to think about is how do you improve what you have today? We, we know that the NHS has worked very well. We've been one of the best healthcare systems in the world for an awful long time. And it feels that we've got a puncture in the tire and we don't need to re, re redesign the tyre, we just need to repair it and keep on going. I think primary care should be paramount because I think if you can try and nip things in the bud and try and get things sorted at the first end, then you wouldn't get all this backlog going on and all the overcrowding in hospitals. We need to strengthen the primary care and once we get at par with the current hospital care, then the funding should probably split because obviously we still need the hospital care. Have a massive drive on community care, on GPs, on care in the community. I think if they did that, it would be a vote winner. We need to just get taxed more and for the next 10 years, hopefully it'll get better. Um, but we do need reinsurance that this is going to go to the NHS and it will improve by this day and, you know, seeing it actually happen. If I knew it was going directly to the NHS, I wouldn't mind paying £20 a week or whatever the number, I, I wouldn't mind. Before more funds are injected into the system, I think a review of how those funds are spent is necessary. Any business you have a five, ten year plan, so regardless of governments coming and change, they've got an objective of what they're trying to do rather than having different governments come in. And each government has their own policy and views. The trouble is we have inconsistent governments. We have inconsistent cabinets. And we need much more consistency. So in a way, I think that the whole business of running the NHS should be removed from government. I think I would have more confidence in the government's planning for the NHS if they were to provide um, a baseline of finances that was um, access for the NHS so they could plan long term for their financial future. Our big hope for this work is that it's going to really help to shape the decisions that policymakers make over the coming few years.